Out here at the 911 showing on Mount Sicker. This is another area along the stretch of road where we've got some bedrock exposed. You have schists, chlorite schists with disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite. And this is bedrock down here. As you can see, the bedrock running this way. And you have bits of quartz with sulfides throughout it. So what we're doing is we're just digging this area here out a little bit because in this area as well, we're also finding quartz with sulfides, big chunks like this. And this is mostly pyrite with some calcopyrite. And it's in this stretch here. So here's a few more from in here. And you can see the massive sulfides. There's a bit of quartz. You got weathered calcopyrite and pyrite. The most abundant samples are in this stretch of the ditch, so it's likely the ditch cut through a nice sulfide quartz vein. We pulled these out as well. Look at this big chunk here. Nice and hefty. This looks like it's massive over here. So we're gonna poke around in this stretch of the ditch. You can see these are pieces of bedrock here sticking up. You can see the chlorite schist with disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite. You can see quartz, little sulfide stringers. So very interesting, specifically in this 15 meter long stretch area. So somewhere in here, we have a potential vein cutting through. On the main road going up, you have quartz with sulfides exposed. Inside a little shaft up here, there's also sulfides exposed. And there's many veins crossing the road. One of them is in a uh, four and a half meter wide area. Quartz, calcopyrite, pyrite, some boronite. And then you have stringers in between in your chloratized rock and more veins going up and up and up and up as you go on the road. So 
these are likely all part of the same vein system but we just exposed another one here and as you can see you have a strike of about 300 degrees west and this vein is running like this in the, the edge here we've exposed the edge and it goes underneath the the road that's built up in here you have chloritized schistose rock and this is your quartz sulfide vein contact between the two rock types you can see there and your vein here and this is dipping about 75 degrees down this way underneath the road so you can see sulfides there, sulfides there, sulfides here. We pulled out a bunch of chunks and uh, hammered off a bunch. I'll take a few to show you from bedrock right now. You can see all the sulfides here. We're just at the edge of the vein here. It's going underneath the, the road. You can see the sulfides that are loose there. Chunks of sulfides here with quartz. Nice chunks of vein material here. And this we've determined from over here to the edge here is also the vein material. So we have some samples here that we've hammered off some big chunks we pulled out the majority of what you see is pyrite secondary is chalcopyrite there is a good amount of your chalcopyrite in here though This is one of the samples we found in the ditch, mostly chalcopyrite in this one. And all this right here that looks black is actually a dark blue and it just looks like Chalcopyrite, if you look up closely, just weathered. And all this material is oddly looking like 
what you see in Copper Canyon on the other side of the mountain, down on the Shimanus River. White quartz with pyrite and chalcopyrite. J2 is getting some backbreaking work in, digging out the vein. Here the vein is a good 60 centimeters wide from over here to here. But the contact is running like this. And one of the things I'll mention is the old road was right here in line with that opening in the trees. So everything over here was bedrock until they built this road five, six months ago, blasted everything out. And that is why you see mineralization in a lot of the rocks in the middle of the road. So what's hiding under this road? Nobody knows. But at least we know what's hiding down in here now. And there's lots of showings up there. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.